Hey guys, in this video, I just wanted to give a heads up to you that if you want to generate AI images using copyright material, such as what you see here is Spider-Man fighting Godzilla with the big Coca-Cola can in the background. The best way to do this is to use Microsoft Copilot and use the designer tab here. And it's powered by DALI 3, but um, what's cool is that this version of DALI that Microsoft is utilizing allows you to get away with a lot of copyright material as you see here. And what's fascinating is that when I tried to do this in my paid ChatGPT4 account using the DALI 3 plugin, it definitely wouldn't allow me to do something like this. I've tried to generate so many Godzilla images on my ChatGPT account, but it just doesn't let me unless I try to like trick it to do it. But with Microsoft Codepilot, it just does it instantly. So I just thought it was really cool because it seems like the API integration that Microsoft is using is probably unregulated. Um, or at least a lot more unregulated than the official ChatGPT version. So if you want to do uh, generate images such as like um, the one you see here, do it now before they uh, they um, start updating their policies and usability on on their um, integration with the the AI tool. Um, but I I just want to show so, some examples that I made with Microsoft Copilot. And, and what's cool is all of this is free, by the way. All you need is a Microsoft account, and that's it. Um, so I was trying to do a few more things, but I realized that they do have some um, copyright issues regarding bigger licenses like Mickey Mouse. And I thought, you know, this is no surprise because Disney is really strict on, on their copyright. So I think they cracked down on this really fast. And then I tried to do one of Joe Biden rapping. Then obviously... Um, I wasn't surprised about this either. They didn't allow me to uh, create content involving politicians. Um, and then I asked them to do a Rick and Morty themed roller coaster at Disneyland and had no trouble doing that. So as you could see, the Rick and Morty logo is like exactly how it looks like in the show. And it looks exactly like a Rick and Morty roller coaster. So there's no copyright issues here. And then I tried to do um, Rick and Morty shoes by Nike. And you can see no issues whatsoever. You got the Nike Swoop. You got the Rick and Morty graphics. It doesn't look like a knockoff. It looks like, you know, this looks like actual art from Rick and Morty. Um, it looks like it's on model. You know, it doesn't look like a cheap, <laughs> a cheap um, knockoff trying to copy it. It looks like they grabbed the graphics right from the show. Um, and then I tried to do a easy Apple phone design, but the reason it didn't let me do this one is because my prompt wasn't good enough. It wasn't because of co copyright reasons. Okay, and then the last example, I generated a Lego P90 rifle. Now, what's interesting is in the regular ChatGPT DALI, um, they don't allow you to create any graphics related to firearms or, or any weapons whatsoever. I mean, it can still do it, but you can't specify that you want a gun. But if you say like, oh, generate an image of a soldier in war, it will generate the soldier holding a gun. But if you just say generate, I don't know, an, an, an M16 assault rifle, it's not going to do it for you because it, it's against the policy. But here, that's not a problem. You can see I generated a Lego P90 rifle. Well, I don't think this is a P90, but it is an assault rifle. So this, this wouldn't be possible in uh, DALI. And then, or I mean the ChatGPT DALI integration. And then here I did another uh, branding test. I did Jack Daniels McDonald's milk collaboration. And this was one of my favorite, look at this. Look at the Jack Daniels logo is almost 100% accurate. This looks amazing, like I think if I put this prompt in the ChatGPT version of D DALI, it would not create the logos as accurate as you see here. Like, I think the bottle would look a little bit different and it wouldn't say Jack Daniels, it would say like some um, gibberish or whatever. But here is nearly perfect. The McDonald's and the Jack Daniels logo, it, it looks completely as it does in real life. and. I wish this was real because this would be like the adult Happy Meal. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this version of 
um, DALI um, on Microsoft Copilot uh, before they start regulating this more and making it more strict so you can't do stuff like this. But I just wanted to give you guys an FYI that this is possible. So go ahead and have fun with it before they start limiting limit, limiting um, the ability to, to use copyright content. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's my PSA. I hope you guys have fun with this. And, uh, you know, have a good weekend because this video is actually being filmed on a Saturday. All right. See you next time on my YouTube channel.